Hello everyone, happy to be here. I'm going to start a new video series of tutorial. This time is about coin system for our game. This is my game. I, have, I don't have any coin system here. So I'm going to create coin system. So previously I already I have already made a 3D object which is 3D coin. Here I'm going to import this fpx file of the 3D object to my Unity. So I'm going to start with creating a new folder. I call it TN coin system. I will work on this directory on this folder for this video series. So I will pick these two files, the fpx file and the uh, texture file, drag and drop it here. Then here we have this coin fpx mod 3D model. Let me add, let me drag and drop it here to the scene. This is our coin. I position it here and let me make uh, some very simple material for it material coin material and I set the shader to mobile diffuse I use this texture then I use it for the coin like this so this is our 3d coin object I'm going to uh, use I'm going to create a prefab of this object so here I unpack the prefab completely this uh, by default if we import an, a 3d object it will be imported as prefab like that so I don't need that I will make it my own prefab so, and I went and I am going to rename it to my to coin just coin and I drag and drop it here to make it a prefab <coughs> I can go inside this prefab by clicking this little arrow arrow I can duplicate this uh, object this one I call it coin mesh this is just coin and for this one I will remove this mesh renderer so basically I just want it to be the parent of of mesh here for the coin object itself not the not the mesh but the parent I will add a box collider this box collider we will use it as a detector if we if we hit this object it should be disappear should be disappeared and we gain a coin let me adjust the size of this collider I think it is fine and I will 
add a tag for this object I will need a tag called coin I will add tag here I make new tag coin and I click it again and apply the tag coin to it and one other thing I'm going to add a rotation script to this object so here I create a simple script I call it coin rotation Let, let's open the script here we create a public variable public float rotation speed let's say one and then and here we apply the rotation transform dot rotate we are going to rotate it in uh, on y axis so rotation should be this way like this here for x y and z so for x we are I'm going just use 0 and this one 0 and for this y I will use rotation speed let's try it back go back to unity and apply this script to the coin let's see so let me check again why I should use this Z rotation not Y okay so I will switch I will change it to here I use 0 for Y and for Z use rotation speed and I will increase the speed for example 10 here because it is public variable I need to change it to 10 manually and let me check here okay rotation speed 10 let's try it that's what I want the next thing is I want the point to be disappeared when I hit the point Collider, you cannot hit the coin. The car is stopping when I hit the coin. You see? Because I did not 
change the collider setting here I did not check this check mark it should be trigger so to make it to make it disappear I will add another script I will create another script and I will attach it to my car object here is my car object car object this car object has rigid body box collider and everything in it here it has rigid body okay never mind so I will create a script and I will attach it to this object this script is to make the, the coin disappear when I hit it so I'm going to create the new script I will call it TN coin system let me just add this script to the object and then double click it to open it and edit it so here we will do collision detection so I type void on trigger enter here collider call then we check if the collider tag call dot tag equals to coin then we tell the computer to destroy that coin object call dot game object let's try it hit play button let's switch the camera let's try again i did not see the coin let's try again switch the camera So far, we imported the coin object, applied the material, and we made it disappear when we hit it. But we did not add any feature to show how many coin do we have here on the UI. Here, next step. Next for next step, I will add a text here at the top of this uh, UI I will add an information here to tell me how many how, how many coin do I have in this game okay for for this video that's all for this video I will continue my next video soon 